Hi everyone and welcome to TWF 205 Live and today on 205 Live I'm here with Lord Zed and Corey Graves and ain't this a surprise well yeah you can say Lord Zed said you can say I'm filling in for today well Corey Graves says you never really we haven't seen you since Survivor Series of last year when you lost your commissionership how's everything been going these days well everything has been going great Corey Everything's been going good, obviously. And here's, well, we got the owner, Xena, in the ring now. Well, apparently Xena said, I can't stand up right in the ring now. First off, here is what I'm going to have to say, Xena says. So I'm going to say this real quick. I don't like taking up time away from, you know, the wrestlers, the fighters. And unlike most people... I don't have multiple years of experience on like Vince McMahon and I'm still a newcomer to it when it comes like like Billy Corgan. Anyway, regardless of all that, I just want to get a couple things off about the whole Godzilla situation. First off, Xena says, I went to see Godzilla and he was in the hospital and good to say that he's recovered now and he's out. But no way, shape, or form is he going to be ready to wrestle or fight. Now, Godzilla, in 2002 AD, me and you had a match. And you beat me. At the time, it was the Toy Wrestling Federation that I now proudly own. Bursting the fighting the Carnival Wrestling Federation. It was more of a fraction led by Shane Kamiki, obviously, at the time. And you were the TWF heavyweight champion, and I was what would soon be the world heavyweight champion at the time. You beat me. Then in 2018 AD, me and you finally had our return wrestling fight, and I beat you in that second wrestling fight. So Godzilla, as far as I'm concerned, the fight between us is over. We have been friends, we've been foes, but I like to think we've been friends more than we've been foes. So, Godzilla, I wish you the wish you the best of luck, friend. Now, Xena says, I have to turn my attention over to a new person. Apparently, Ric Flair and myself had signed some new wrestlers to the Toy Wrestling Federation. One was one of the henchmen from Despicable Me. Another happened to be Iron Fist, or Steel Fist, from, you know, He-Man, Guardians of the Universe, right? you know, Masters of the Universe. Well, and also some other man I don't know the name of. Xena, you don't know my name, but that's going to change. I'm going to be name known. And you might not know me, but that's okay. You and Ric Flair have to know that you need wrestlers like me, fighters like me. I should go for the World Heavyweight Championship. No, the TWF Heavyweight Championship. Let's put it this way, Xena says. Who the hell are you? I sign you up on Saturday. I, I, Ric Flair signs you, me and Ric Flair sign you up on Saturday. You then go to my godmother, my goddaughter Jordan on her YouTube channel and you ask her to talk to me. Well, here's what we're going to do. Since you want to prove yourself, since Marcus Titus, you want to prove yourself? Yeah, two European Italic Roman, Latin Roman names. Yeah. Since you want to prove yourself, well, here's your chance to prove it, Xena says. You're going to go on a man who has given Godzilla problems, but a man who has given Jack Sparrow prop situations, but a man that I believe you are not going to be able to overcome. I go, you go with Braun Strowman. Marcus Titus? Is that his name? 
we take two random European, Italic, Latin, Roman names, and that's what they did. His birth givers had nine months, and that's what they came up with. Well, what is wrong with Marcus Titus, Lord Zed said. I mean, seriously. Come on, Zed. That's almost like that's almost like your birth givers naming you Zedicus. Hey, Zedicus is a really good European. You're a really good Austro Air Austro Arabic Hebrewic name. It's actually Asian Raphael, Asian Palestinian name. It means God is good and just. Well, here's Braun Strowman now. Uh and Zed and Corey, you will agree that Braun Strowman is a dangerous man. And Marcus Brute is trying to go after him here. Well, he's trying to attack him. I don't know who he is, but apparently he's going right after him. And Braun Strowman just shoves him right down. Yeah, I will agree, Zed said. I've seen Braun Strowman. When I was the commissioner, Braun Strowman threw Jack Sparrow around like he was nothing. When my wife, Rita Repulsa, was a general manager, I seen him destroy men like that. Corey Gray said, you're going to see him destroy some more men. And some people realized that, oh, Marcus Brutus had another opportunity, and he's still trying to come after him. He's still trying to take down Braun Strowman. Oh, Braun Strowman just took him down. Uh-oh, not a ring. The tape's finally letting go now. The bloody tape's starting to come on, come on, done now. Now the bloody tape on the other side's coming to an end. I tell you, Xena has to get better tape. Well, no, Xena and Ric Flair gotta get better tape. Xena, Ric Flair, and Shane Kamiki gotta get better tape. No. We'll go hard, we gotta go lower than that. Zena, Gabe, Co Zena, Gabe Koska, Ric Flair, Shane Kamiki, Ernest P. War, and Pee Wee Herman got to get better tape. But all, that all extraction is all I needed. You better watch what you say. Well, Lord Zed said, yeah, you got to get better tape. Look, Marcus Titus trying to come down on Braun Strowman. Uh oh, one. The referee didn't do count. One, two. Now, referee only kicked out. You can't beat Braun Strowman like that. I mean, Godzilla only beat him once. And Oscar was actually probably lucky. Uh-oh, Braun Strowman got Marcus Titus again. Oh, God, it's over here. One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Here is your winner, Braun Strowman. Braun! Well, Braun Strowman... Basically beat Marcus Titus here on 205 Live. You know, I guess his trial match to see how he would do. He didn't do very well. Oh, of course he didn't do very well. He just got, he didn't do very well. He got his ass kicked. He got his ass kicked by Braun Strowman. You know, which we actually knew was actually going to happen. Well, Lord Zed says apparently Marcus Titus is apparently trying to get trying to get back up, but it ain't no easy task. No, when you've been attacked, when you've been attacked, it like he's been attacked. Getting back up is not no easy task. Well, wait a minute. He's laying down right now. There is the chief executive officer, Ric Flair. And the owner, Zena, what are they doing? First off, Zena says, Marcus, you have come on. You, you have law to go. Yeah, you got your ass kicked by Braun Strowman. But that's okay, Marky, because you're going to become name-owned. But it's going to be a long time before, but it's going to be a long time before you ever get close to being a heavyweight, a real heavyweight champion. Marcus, to beat a man, you got to beat the man. And me and Zena brought you in 
but you're not even a blip on the radar yet. And until you beat people, do not ask for favors. Woo! Well, it looks like that's all the time we got here for, you know, for TWF 205 Live for Lord Zed, Corey Graves, and uh, I guess Marcus Titus is still trying to get back out up to his feet now. I'm Dwayne McGowan, and we'll see you tomorrow for Monday Night Raw. Every uh, Before we go, we want to wish every all of us Christians a happy Easter. God has made Jesus rise, and God and Jesus have opened the gates to heaven for all the people, for every man and woman to go through, and all our misdeeds forgiven. Since God loved mankind and womankind so much, he was, he was, he decided to have his son Jesus go through all that for us, and to forgive us for all of our misdeeds, so we could go to heaven without, well, with no difficulty. And for that includes believers and non-believers as well. Dave Monday for Monday Night Raw.